guys, over here. Today I'm doing the Eureka Math Grade 4 Module 3 Lesson 4 homework. So let's get started. So here we have an example. They're doing 5 times 10. So over here in our place value thing, they drew place value disks. So 5 is 5 ones. So they drew 5 disks in the ones column to represent the 5. Now times 10. So when we're multiplying by 10, we move everything one place value to the left. So I circle the five ones and they show times 10. We moved it all the way to the tens column. So now we have five tens, which is 50. So five ones times 10 is five tens, that's 50. So now over here, draw place value disks and arrows as shown to represent each product. Seven times 100. So seven is seven ones, so let's start by drawing seven ones over here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Times 100. So 100 is the same as 10 times 10. So let's see, seven ones, let's circle that. We can do times 10 first. So now we have seven tens. Four, five. But we're not done yet. We're doing times 100. So times 10. Now if we times 10 again, we have one. Seven. So we did times 10 two times, which now is times 100. So our answer is seven hundreds. So have it be seven hundred. 7 times 10 times 10, that's basically what we did. We did 7 and we did times 10 and times 10 again. So then our answer is 700. 7 ones times 100 is 7 hundreds. All right, next, 7 times 1,000. Let's do 7 ones. We take that and times 100, 1,000. So times 10 first. That's one, two, three, four. And then if we take that, is we're taking 10. If we multiply by 10 again, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take that again and multiply it by 10 again. Because 10 times 10 is 100, but if we multiply by 10 again, that's the same as multiplying by 1,000. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So we have 7,000. So if we write it in standard form, the, um, this is what it would look like. Now 7 times 10 times 10 times 10. Well, that's what we did. 7 and then times 10 one time times 10 two times and times 10 three times and our answer when we do that is 7,000 comma so seven ones times 1,000 if we write it in word form kind of it's seven thousands number three says fill in the blanks in the following equations all right so a we have eight times ten we know eight times ten is eighty but when we're doing problems like this, we can also look at the number of zeros at the end at the other number. So 10 has one zero. So notice how we do eight times one, that's eight, and then plus a zero at the end, there's one zero here, just like how there's one zero, 10. So our answer is 80. So now if we look at B, something times eight equals 800. Well, if we look at the eight and 800, we know it's like times 10 times 10 again. So it's 100 times bigger which means 100 times 8 is 800. If you also check, there's two zeros at the end of 100, and there's also two zeros at the end of 800. I now see 8,000 equals blank times 1,000. Well, 1,000 needs to be multiplied by 8 to get 8,000, so that would be what's in the blank. D, 10 times 3, that's 30. E says 3 times blank is 3,000. We look at 3,000. 3,000 has, if we cover the three, there's one, two, three zeros at the end. 
which means our number over here needs three zeros at the end, which would be 1,000. And that blank times three equals 300. Again, 300, there's two zeros, so here we would have 100. G, 1,000 times four. Four times one is four, and add the three zeros. Our answer is 4,000. H, blank equals 10 times four. So 10 times four is 40, so that's our answer. And I says 400 equals blank times 100. 400 equals four times 100. All right, next page. Draw place value discs and arrows to represent each product. All right, so number four, we have 15 times 10. So we draw 15, 15 is 1, 10, and 5, 1. All right, and we're doing times 10. So we move everything over by one. That's times 10. And that's times 10. So 15 times 10, we have 105 tens. That's 150. That means 1 10 by 1 times 10 is the same as 15 tens. Notice how there's one zero at the end, just like our 10. Number 5, 17 times 100. 17 is 1 10, 7 ones. Times 100, so let's move this over by 10 first. Times 10, that's 100. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. But notice how it's times 100. So we move it over by 10 again. We have 10 times 10, it's 100. Now we have 1,000. And our seven tens become seven hundreds. Five, six, seven. So our answer is 1,700, which would be written like this. So 17 times 10 times 10, that's what we did. 17 times 10 once, we times 10 again. And that answer would be 1,700. A one ten seven ones times a hundred would be seventeen hundreds. Notice how there's two zeros at the end of seventeen hundred, just like one hundred. All right, number six, thirty six times one thousand. Let's draw thirty six. Thirty six is three tens, six ones. So times a thousand. Let's move this over by ten first times 10, times 10, it's 1, 2, 3, and now we times 10 again, and now, so 10, we did times 10 two times, that's 100, but we're getting 1,000, so let's multiply by 10, just one more time. So we did times 10, once, two, okay, now let's do times 10 again, times 10, times 10, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, so our answer is three, 10,000, that's 30,000, six, 36,000. Notice how there's three zeros at the end of that number, just like 1,000. So 36 times 10 times 10 times 10, that's kind of what we did. Times 10 times 10 times 10. The answer to that would be 36,000. So 3 times 6 one times 1,000 is 36,000. 
No, um, now, next part says decompose each multiple of 10, 100, or 1,000 before multiplying. The decompose. 7, we have 2 times 80. So I rewrite it into 2 times 8 times 10. The reason why we're doing this is because it's easier to multiply this way. 2 times 8, the 8 came from 80. So we did, we separated the 8 and 10. So we know 8 times 10 is already 80, but we're multiplying it separately. So then 2 times 8 is 16, and times the 10 here. So how do we know what the answer is? Well, there's one zero at the end of 10, so we can add it at the end of 16 to get 160. And number eight, two times 400 equals two times four times 100. Because we're decomposing, breaking apart the 400 because it's a multiple of 10, 100, or 1,000. And um, four, if we, we want to get it, so basically we want to get it to a single digit. So two times four is eight, then times the 100. If you add the two zeros after the eight, you'll get 800, which is our answer. All right, and nine, five times 5,000 equals five times five, because we want to get it into single digits. And 5,000, if we do it five, that'd be 1,000. 5 times 5 is 25 times 1,000 equals 25,000 if you add the zeros at the end. Alright, and number 10, 7 times 6,000, 7 times 6 times 1,000 because 6 times 1,000 is 6,000. 7 times 6 is 42, we can't forget about that 1,000. So 42 and just add the three zeros at the end. Your answer is going to be 42,000. So yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video helps. And please don't forget to like and subscribe because it really helps on my channel. See you next time. Bye.